I'm standing in the base of this uh, ancient western red cedar that has just collapsed. Now, you can see what was holding the tree up for years was this very rotten wood. Now, this is called heart rot. So, the tree was suffering from this for many, many years, and you can see it's actually hollow through most of the tree. Now, what happened uh, the other day was it just crumbled. All the weight of that tree at this base, it just gave way and collapsed, and now it's sort of just crumbled into a million little puzzle pieces and it's lying in the floor. What's sad about this tree falling, it had its original spires. It's a candelabra cedar, so it has many, many different tops. Each one of those tops is indicative of a drought summer. So you're looking at like an 800 ish year old tree with 10 different tops to it. There was a drought, killed the top of the tree, and then the next year it puts up a new shoot. So what this tree looked like before it fell, it had a million little tops shooting into the blue sky. It's always sad to see these veterans uh, you know, go into the next stage of their life, which is on the ground as a nurse log for the next generation of trees. Although they live for 800 years, they are under incredible stress in Stanley Park. We've had many droughts. It's now a whole lesson in forest succession and how these trees do die, and also the state that we find these trees in today. The average summer is a drought. We are going through a bug outbreak. Uh, we live beside a major urban center, so we have pollution. What killed this tree, it's hard to know exactly, but it's probably a combination of all those factors. And when a tree falls, does anyone hear it, right? Well, if a tree falls and no one tells the news, it maybe doesn't make the news, right?